Well, I found out what this one is. It's a Pentium 3. There. Yeah, well, it looks good on the inside. Just haven't tried it yet. Um, Sony CD burner. 250 watt power supply and um, yeah so I'm about to give it the first run I haven't tried it yet so let's see what happens oh, we've got lights ah Windows 98 <laughs> going back a bit These work. It's slow. Oh, we got an error. Oh no, we don't. Windows did not detect the mouse attached to the computer. You can always safely attach a serial mouse now to, uh, no, I've got a USB mouse plug in, that's why. Hey, when Windows 98, 95 did this. Always have to install the hardware to start up. Come on, load. Yes, yes. Alright. Oh, it's just one error after another, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, well, at least we know it runs. I assume it's got a pretty small hard drive. Um, it's got a decent speed CPU, like a couple of other Pentium 3s have held on to, uh, 1 gigahertz. Might keep it. Keep the motherboard and the CPU, and that's about it. Ah, oh, we know it runs. Ah. Oh. Thanks for watching. Well, here's here's the uh, Pentium 4 I'm about to try out. I had to grab the power supply because whoever had it ripped the power supply out. So, and then I noticed I went to go. I didn't have any RAM either. I went over to my uh, computer box over there um, to get some DDR RAM out, and then I come back and I noticed it has three slots of SD RAM. And um, thankfully I've held on to a few sticks of SD RAM over the past few years. And um, yeah, so it must, this must be an early Pentium 4 motherboard. Still using SD RAM. So, that's it. By MSI. Yeah. Right, there it goes. Yeah, we've got power. Four megabyte graphics card, great. It's 
to 1.6 gigahertz and of course it's got no hard drive oh, could, could be a goer I'll have to hook it up to a hard drive and uh, install windows on it and see how it runs if she works I'll hold on to it and I'll def I'm definitely holding on to the case just needs a bit of a clean up Alright. Thanks for watching.